music is important to us because it's part of our lifestyle and our way that we communicate. On Beale Street, it's easy to see and hear. This is where the world is welcome to the South with a hearty helping of soul and a story. We use our music and our talking to share experiences and lifestyles. See, blues is a story, and no one knows it like Judy Pizer. I'm sure we have it marked somewhere. Slideshow that we did on Beale Street. Yeah. What started with a few films. Candlelight tribute to Elvis from Graceland. <laughs> turned into a major archive here at the Center for Southern Folklore in downtown Memphis. It's important that we are able to, through the festival and other things, give people a stage, give people a voice, give people a way to celebrate themselves. And the center's archive brings those stories to life. We're talking about an era before Gibson Guitar opened its doors, and even before FedEx Forum moved in, and before the Westin joined the neighborhood. We're going back to a point where much of the area surrounding Beale Street was an empty lot, an empty lot that replaced many of the homes and businesses that were very much a part of the Beale Street neighborhood. We called it urban removal because about 400 buildings were removed out of that area. You still see vacant lands. Shelby County historian Jimmy Ogle told us these vacant lands were home to a thriving black community in the Jim Crow South. At the turn of the century, Lieutenant George W. Lee made this phrase that it was a mile of vice and ambition owned by the Jews, policed by the whites, and enjoyed by the Negroes. We're in a segregated city. And, and the blacks couldn't go up on the main street or other areas. By the 1880s, Robert Church, the first black millionaire in the South, bought land around Beale, and with his son, who was a political leader here, helped Beale Street take shape, building Church Park Auditorium, at the time the largest assembly for blacks in America. Then across the street was Solvent Savings and Bank, and over the decades, as the business district and the number of black businesses grew, so did the energy, especially after dark. Somebody told us years ago that I think Penny Southern Beale Street on Saturday night was like having ice cream when you weren't used to having anything but bread pudding. Beale was that fabulous night on the street, the night we put on our good shoes, the ones that hurt, you know, and went out to be seen. Music brought a who's who list of names to Beale during the 20th century. As a major African-American street, it took center stage during the Civil Rights era. The Civil Rights Movement really carried out through Beale Street as well. Dr. King, the last three big moments of his life were in Memphis, Tennessee, his big public moments. Parks and venues pay tribute to the well-known names and hidden heroes who made Beale what it is today. The sights and sounds around this world-famous street help its story live on. The most important thing is, is that we listen in Memphis, Tennessee, I'm John Paul.